Welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I have some fun fall DIYs that are perfect for Thanksgiving or just for the fall season in general. And these are all Dollar Tree DIYs that are budget friendly and super easy to make. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I am using this wire leaf wreath form and this metal leaf decor piece from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using some burlap. This is some I think I got at Walmart, but I have seen it at Dollar Tree before too. I'm going to use some burlap fall ribbon from Dollar Tree, as well as a little bit of raffia and jute twine. I cut a piece of burlap that was the size of my leaf and then I am going to just use my hot glue gun to attach this to the leaf form and I highly recommend using a finger protector because um, the hot glue does come right through that burlap if you get too much of it. I am working in small sections so that the hot glue doesn't cool off too quickly and I did find that you want to go sparingly with the hot glue so that uh, it looks neat on the front side and you don't get blobs of hot glue. Once my burlap is attached to the leaf form, then I am going to trim away the excess. I started out with a regular pair of scissors, but I found that this little a tiny pair of scissors that I picked up at Dollar Tree actually works best for this. And as I was cutting around this, I did find some spots where a little extra hot glue was needed, so I just added that in and then kept going. Next, I'm going to take that cute little metal leaf and I'm going to remove the raffia bow on it and that little wire hanger that's on the top. I'm going to use a little bit of jute twine and attach this cute little leaf to the top of my burlap leaf. Next, I'm going to take that pretty fall burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm going to create just a simple regular bow then I'm going to take some of my raffia. I have about three strands here and I'm going to wrap this around the center of my bow about three times, tie a knot, and then uh, also tie just a bow on top of my ribbon bow. I'm leaving my raffia strands uh, pretty long on this. You can trim them down to uh, whatever length that you would like. I love using raffia in fall projects. It just looks uh, kind of like straw and just really gives that fall vibe. And you'll notice I always tie my bows with the ribbon still attached to the spool because if not, I either cut my ribbon too short or I get way too much and I waste it. So that's just something that I prefer to do. But you can cut your ribbon off the spool and then tie your bow. It is a little easier that way. And then I'm going to attach my bow to the top of my leaf using some hot glue. I am going to trim some of my really long raffia strands, but you can make these as short as long as, or long as you want. I like them a little bit longer for a little bit messier look, but if you want it neater, just cut them a little shorter. And to make a hanger, I'm just going to take a little piece of jute twine and tie a loop in that and glue it to the back of that stem on my burlap leaf. And now this is all finished and ready to hang on the wall or I think it would be really pretty hanging on a front door. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, I do a lot of that here on this channel. So hit that subscribe button and stick around. For this next DIY, I will be using this cute little picture from Dollar Tree with the bead hanger. 
as well as this little turkey votive candle holder. I think he's just so cute. I'll also be using a scrap of cardstock just in some fall colors. And I'm going to be using this little thankful wood shape. I picked these up at Target, but you can get them in various places. Uh, I've seen similar ones at Dollar Tree and also at craft stores. I'm going to start this project by painting the frame using this sage colored chalk paint. I think I got this one at Walmart and I'm just going to uh, paint the frame but I'm not going to paint the beads. I'm going to leave those the natural wood color. And I'm not worrying too much about getting paint on the inside design because I will be covering that up with that scrapbook paper. Once that paint is dry, I'm going to take some antique wax by Waverly and I am going to uh, just dry brush a little bit of this on my frame just to give it a little bit of texture and dimension. And I am going pretty light with this because it is a dark brown and I don't want my frame to get too dark. I'm going to measure the inside of my picture frame and cut my scrapbook paper to fit. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Mod Podge and just glue this basically to the center of the frame. I did try to use a regular glue stick and it would not stick. I don't know why, but the Mod Podge worked great. So now I want to paint my thankful word and I was looking at my scrapbook paper and I used the green color for the frame and so I think I'm going to mix up a kind of gold color to go with that uh, yellowish color that's in the scrapbook paper. I didn't have a paint that matched so I'm just going to mix something up. I'm going to use some yellow, orange, and a little bit of brown. And now that I've got that just the right shade, I'm going to paint my little thankful word so that it will coordinate. Now it's time to add our cute little turkey to this and his little feet just sit right on the edge of the frame on the bottom and uh, the back of him will go right up against the back of the picture. So I'm just going to add some hot glue to those areas and attach him to this. I love using like three-dimensional uh, things to add to pictures. I just think it makes them very interesting and this is just so cute. Then I'm going to attach my thankful word to the top corner of my frame with my hot glue gun and then I'm going to add a little votive LED candle to this and I think it's really cute. For our next project, I'm going to be using this glass vase or candle holder from Dollar Tree and some of this etched window film that I also found at Dollar Tree. I have seen this both in the Crafter Square section with the vinyl and I have seen it with the contact paper, so you could check both places. I'm also going to be using my favorite fall ribbon from Dollar Tree and these little wooden clips, the, the leaf shape with the little clothespin on the back. I'm just going to be using one of those. And I'll be using an assortment of craft paint in colors that coordinate with my ribbon. And I'll be using an LED candle. First I'm going to take my candle holder or vase and I am going to measure uh, how tall the vase is for the section that I want to apply the window film to. And you're going to want to have a vase that has straight sides so that it is easier to add the window film to. 
I'm going to cut my window film down to the size that my vase measured and then I'm going to just peel it off of the backing and apply it to the vase and this is really easy to do. And I did find that I was able to lift it and reposition it a little bit if I needed to so it wasn't like a one and done. I did have a little bit of flexibility with that. And when I got all the way around the vase, I just trimmed off the excess and just made sure that my seam laid flat. Unfortunately, it's hard to see the design on the camera, but it's just a really pretty leaf and floral design, so it's perfect for fall, and I love this etched look. Next I'm going to paint my little wood leaf and I am using a bunch of different paint colors uh, that coordinate with that ribbon. So I am going to just squirt a little bit of each of these colors onto my uh, painter's palette here and then I'm going to mix them up a little bit uh, just to kind of give a swirl design. Then I'm going to hold my leaf using that little clothespin on the back and I'm going to press it lightly down onto the paint that I just swirled together. And this is uh, going to have a lot more paint than I need on it. So I am going to blot it on a paper towel and get off the excess paint. And then I am going to just kind of twist it a little bit on the paper towel to blend those colors a little and you can take off as much paint as you want or uh, leave more on there. I decided to add a little extra uh, colors, uh, certain colors in areas that I thought it needed it so uh, you can just uh, play with this until uh, you like the way it looks. And Six leaves come in the package, so if you're not happy with one, you can try again. Or you can just paint this leaf using a paintbrush and paint it any color that you want. I just thought this would be a really fun effect to try, and I like the way it came out. And as you can see here, I think it coordinates with my ribbon quite well. I am going to take my heat tool and just make sure that this is really dry. If you want to work on projects, you don't want to wait for paint to dry, this heat tool is a must have. It is linked in the description box below with all of my favorite crafting tools. So um, if you are interested in that, you can check it out. But this is a tool I use all the time, mostly because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for paint to dry. Since my ribbon has a gold edge, I decided to use this metallic gold paint and add some little lines or veining on my leaf just to uh, kind of pull it in and make it go with that ribbon just a little bit more. And I was actually able to see a few of the little lines that were on the wood leaf piece uh, originally through the paint, and so I used those as a guide to paint my gold veins. Once the paint on the leaf is completely dry, I'm going to turn it over and I am just using an old Cricut tool uh, just to lift off that uh, clothespin that was on the back. I left it on because it was perfect for holding on to this while I was painting it, but I do want to remove it before I add it to my project. Next I'm just going to attach my ribbon around the center of my vase. I'm just using some hot glue for this and then I am going to attach my little leaf uh, on as an embellishment and add my candle and this project is finished.
For this next project, I will be using this cute little milk can. I found this at Family Dollar, which if you have a Dollar Tree Plus, you could probably find it there as well. Or you could just use a regular vase, or you could even use something like these cute little gift boxes that Dollar Tree is carrying. I also found this cute little metal pumpkin sign at Dollar Tree, so I'll be using that in this DIY as well. For greenery, I'm going to be using this lamb's ear that I picked up at Walmart. It was just a couple dollars, I think, um, but I really like the looks of it. And I'll be using a stem of these velvet pumpkins and this larger, I don't know what you call this, it's kind of like a paper pumpkin from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this lace ribbon. You can use any type of ribbon. And I'll be using one of these rub-on transfers. Oh, and I'll be using a 12 inch dowel as well. I'm going to start by embellishing my little metal pumpkin. I'm going to remove the hanger because I won't be using that. And then I'll also be removing that little raffia bow that's on there because I want to change that out as well. Instead of the raffia, I am going to use that lace ribbon and just tie a bow and add to the pumpkin. I'm going for more of a softer, kind of romantic look with this DIY, so uh, that's why I decided to remove the raffia. Since I removed the twine hanger, you can see the little holes uh, that were used for that hanger. Um, quite well. So I'm going to disguise those using a little bit of these uh, teeny white berries or flowers and uh, these are just some I had in my stash and I'm going to cut a couple sprigs of those just tuck them under the bow and secure them with some hot glue and then you won't really be able to see those holes that well. So now I'm going to dress up my little milk can. I am going to be uh, removing that burlap ribbon that was on it and um, I'm also going to uh, be using the other side of the milk can. The Hello Fall is cute but I, I want to add a little different design on it. So uh, I am going to use that same lace ribbon to put around the neck of the milk can and that will coordinate with what I put on the pumpkin. Then I'm going to cut out the design I want to use from my rub-on transfers and I'm just going to place that on what's actually the back of the milk can but it's going to be the front of my project. Next I'm going to place my little pumpkin on a dowel so it can stick up out of the milk can. I would recommend using E6000 for this. Hot glue does not stick. Uh, I'm just duct taping this to the back with some white duct tape uh, because I don't want it to be permanent as I am probably going to be reusing some of these things. So uh, it just depends on how you want to do it, but this is how I chose to do it. I'm going to add a couple pieces of floral foam to the bottom of my milk can just so things will stand up better in there and I'm going to just start adding all of my uh, pieces that I got to put inside. So I'm going to poke the lamb's ear down inside there and then the pumpkin and then I will also add the stem of white velvet pumpkins as well as that big paper pumpkin. And uh, you can just arrange this however you think looks nice.
also made another one using these materials in a totally different color palette. I just wanted to show it to you to uh, just show you the variation that you could do. And so uh, here is my finished project using these. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which of these projects is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video with these fall and Thanksgiving DIYs, please hit that like button. It really helps my channel out and helps others to see this video as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope you all have a blessed day.